Hey everybody, it's Dave again. Just uh, letting you know that uh, I finished my little project. Um, yeah, it took me a little while, but got them all done. All the ones I was going to do anyway. So, anyway, so. There you go. I mean, is it perfect? No. But is it doing what I want? What I set out to do? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and I'm happy with it. It's turned out better than I thought it would. Um, like I said, it took me a better part of the day yesterday just to figure out how to, to get all the stuff to work correctly and be able to smash it into them little end scale train cars but um, yeah I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it is I didn't get as much light blocking done as I would have liked because it's just so tight some of the cars are better than others um, yeah I like that that one there that one ain't so great, but um, yeah, they all turned out really well. They work just fine. Um, I haven't had any little any hiccups with them yet, but uh, so yeah, there we go. That's my project for for today or for this weekend anyway. Um, I have to kind of slow down. I've been. I've been buying a lot of shit for my my train layout. I've got I've got one over here that is it's a Bachman um, that I want to. Uh, it's just a regular DC Bachman that I'm gonna put a DCC um, decoder in. I want to do this one too, um, or one of these. Yeah, this one here. Um, but yeah, the, the shell on this one is melted. I mean, the person that owned it before me ran the piss out of it. And, uh, you can see right there, the dang shell is melted. Um, but, um, I'm going to put a DCC decoder in and see if I can get it to work. I had limited success with that one. But I think the decoder was was not that great, and I think it need I need to put a new motor in it. The motor that's in it, I don't think is that great. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's the uh, the uh, train room, as I like to call it, and uh, this is my little gear area. So, I mean, a lot of you have seen most of those builds and so forth and so on, but, yeah, this is just known as the train room for obvious reasons. But, uh, yeah, I have to slow down on getting, buying things for this, this layout. I told you, I, once, once the grandkids, my daughter and the grandkids got their place, set up I've been kind of obsessing with this thing because I hadn't had a chance to really run trains for quite a long time and uh, so now that I can I'm like oh I want to do this and I want to do that and it's like it's like I said everything's expensive it doesn't matter those those train cars you go on eBay and they want 30 40 dollars for these for these uh, passenger cars right the exact same ones. I can go on to Concours website and buy a brand new one for thirty or forty dollars. It's like eBay used to be a good place to get, you know, decent deals and stuff, but not so much, man. People think they've they've got solid gold or something. So not that, you know, those those things <laughs> forty dollars is, you know, 
still, in my opinion, expensive for them. But if I can get a brand new one, you know, right from the manufacturer for the same price that some assholes, you know, selling used or like new on eBay, I'll get a brand new one every time. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Just giving you a little peek at the, that I got got the train car or the passenger cars done. Um, hope you have a great day and enjoy your weekend, your long weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.